Hey friends, welcome to another studio vlog. If you're new here, my name is Ms. Bev and I am the owner, creator, CEO, president of Ms. Bev Creates. I am a self-taught digital illustrator and a professional doodler. So welcome. And in this week's vlog, I'm gonna just show you a little bit what's been going on day to day. I had another large order, a bigger order for my uh, preemie stickers. Um, my sweet baby mine preemie stickers. Um, if you watch my last vlog, a friend neighbor of mine asked if I could uh, do some stickers for her. She sent me all the quotes and they had to do with NICU uh, and preemie, st uh, preemie babies. Um, so uh, she sent me all the quotes and so I was able to uh, create an illustration uh, for each one illustration or text so I put it in a sticker sheet for her she loved it she ordered a whole bunch and then she, um, I think it was her sister who ordered um, uh, like 20 of them so um, that kept me busy a lot yesterday uh, packaging cutting printing packaging um, and all that stuff so um, I'm also starting on a couple more ideas that I'm going to show you um, specifically one um, of, um, at the moment I can't think of it. <laughs> when you get my age, that happens. So, um, I have it in my sketchbook, but I'll show it to you. Just, I'll let you, um, uh, sit there with anticipation and, uh, stay and watch my vlog. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, please, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please follow my channel by subscribing to it. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you so much and let's get to it. Okay, take one. Hi, I'm back. And um, this is the part that I forgot to mention earlier when I had that brain fart, senior brain fart. But anyway, I am creating a um, menu planning uh, manual. And um, I have been doing it for years. Um, when I hosted big meals, for the holidays, such as Thanksgiving, Christmas, 4th of July, um, I took notes. I took lots of notes, and so throughout the years, I referenced back to them, because um, I saved them in uh, uh, 
sloppy pages in my cookbooks and and so but it was always so handy to go back to them and remember what I did for this meal for that meal and it helped me tremendously so for like 10 15 years I had notes built up and I, I developed a method and it really worked for me so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be creating a um, a, a manual and it's only going to be like maybe five six pages at the most I think um, not a lot I'm going to hopefully have them outsourced printed professionally and bound professionally um, but um, I'm going to have a different thing too for the holidays for different holidays and events and just a generic one but um, I'm also going to be illustrating it, which really excites me because I'm going to have fun doing all the illustrations for it. I saw somewhere years ago where um, uh, someone had a cookbook or a show, one of the shows that had um, illustrations in watercolor effect and uh, little drawings and sketches and stuff like that. And I thought, oh, I like that. I really like that. So I'm going to try to mimic that. I'm not making a cookbook, so I'm not copying anybody's uh, recipes or anything. I'm doing my own book, my own method of menu planning um, an easy, in an easy way. So here you're going to see me create my artboard and uh, just draw some sketches, rough draft set sketches. And um, I still haven't put them in a big form yet. I don't know if you'll see that in this vlog. Um, but it's, um, it's a work in process. I'm not done with it. I'm not going to be done with it today. Um, but, uh, that's one project that I'm starting. And then the other one, I don't think I'm going to reveal just yet because, um, it's not ready to be revealed yet. So, sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue with this vlog and I need to get going to a school function for my grandson. So we'll see you in a bit. So we're on our way to doggy daycare. It, today is Monday, um, May the 23rd. It's about 8, almost 8.30. Yep. And we're gonna go to doggy daycare. And go see some friends.
So I printed out the design. Oh, you'll see these top four have lines and I did that on purpose because when I do the final cut, they won't have the lines, but the cutting machine knows where to cut because it'll be a red uh, line on the screen. And somehow, some way, the, between the software and the cutting machine, they know, they communicate. This is where you cut when there's a red line. I put these lines in here on purpose just so I can see the exact size of what the tag is gonna be. I went ahead and made some changes to it. This is a rough draft, this is not a final copy. It's a rough draft, so I made some changes and this is what I'm gonna settle with. I went ahead and centered every, all the text on the bottom, as opposed to this. I don't like the way it looks here. It's just, I just don't like. And I took away the icons. They just were interfering too much. So I'm just settling with just, just text and I'm really happy the way that looks. So now I'm going to, once again, uh, duplicate it all over the page and then send it to the printer, print it on uh, the correct cardstock that I wanna print it on. And then I put it through the machine to cut it and it'll be ready for 20 uh, sticker packets. Here's the first batch of cut tags. I had the silhouette cutting machine go past it three times um, to give it a good cut. And um, I think I did an excellent, excellent job. But I think it will work with just two passes, two cut passes, but anyway, can you look at that? These cutting machines are amazing. Just, just, so, they cut everything pristine, professionally. This just impresses me so much when they work, <laughs> right? So when I get done taking these off, I'm gonna put on uh, the other sheet and tell the machine to just pass it twice. In other words, cut through twice instead of three times like it did with this one. And we'll see if that was a good idea or not. This is the way I put on my paper. I make this corner here match up with the corner up here. And I get my finger and I press down that corner. I don't let any other part of the paper touch this mat until I'm happy with the way it's touching the corner. And then I align the paper with the lines on the mat. And that just it makes it easy for me to make sure everything is straight. Make sure the paper is on straight and matches the lines and everything. So that's the way I do it. Okay. Okay, here's the second batch with just two passes and I think it's gonna work. Yep. Amazing. Put 
19 to go. So here's the whole packet. I got to deliver it. It's just a couple buildings down from me. But um, I need to put it in something else. I need to find what I have in my arsenal here. And then um, we're done with this one. Thank you for your support and your encouragement. <laughs>